This is a short video on how to use the USB cable included in Keyboard Render Kit. First let's start with how to move it around. The first thing you're going to do is grab the cross shape here and you can use the, the move tool from the sidebar or you can just tap the G key on your keyboard. Now this will move it on all axes, so in order to isolate an axis, you can press Y, for example, or X, or Shift-Z to isolate just X and Y. I'll right-click to uh, escape. Uh, next, uh, there's a handle to extend the coil. I'll press the G key here. And you'll notice that there are some limitations on there just to stop it from uh, going too extreme. So say I move it a little bit and uh, then we can rotate just to give it a little bit of bend. There we go. The connector uh, is the same. It has limitations on it. Uh, there's a limit rotation and limit location. So. Uh, when I press G, it'll only let me move it a certain distance to prevent too much stretching of the texture. We can also uh, rotate it. Next is the connector itself. Um, I used to have uh, handles around this so you grab the handle and use that to move it but it just makes sense to uh, select the connector itself in case we want to plug it in somewhere same goes for the other side if we want to plug it in into our board for example um, let's bring one up here we go I press G and shift X so it doesn't move on the X axis and there we go we're plugged in Maybe a little bit of rotation there. So RX and G Shift X and plug that in. All right. Next is uh, the materials. Let's have a look at that. So I'll zoom in here. And the material is a node group. So if we want to edit that, we can go inside but we won't be doing that in this video. All right, uh, we have two colors here. One is for the small color. Uh, let's choose something, how about that? And one is for the larger color. So, uh, ooh, that looks nice. There we go. And there's another slider here for TechFlex. So should we wish to have a text TechFlex uh, pattern there. We can just slide it over. All right. Now a little bit more about how this is made. Uh, it's made using a series of hooks. Each uh, connector is two hooks, two hook modifiers. Uh, you won't really need to dig into that, but uh, should you wish, you can. And uh, each of these has um, has a limitation on it so that it can't go below the ground. So if I move that and I try to move it below ground zero, it won't go. Uh, this will only move on, it won't move vertically. And this is the same. It won't go through ground zero. That's to prevent anything uh, too crazy from happening to your cable. Uh, now, uh, you still can break it. Uh, you can do things that aren't intended. Uh, for example, if we move the connector, someone tried to move the connector all the way up to the coil uh, to shorten it. Uh, if you wish to do that, you can, but you're going to have to remove these. Uh, here, let's uh, let's enable these in edit mode. There we go. You're going to have to remove these extra uh, 
uh, CVs that are in here, vertices, in order to make that smoother. But um, I'm not going to go through that in this video. Uh, okay.